back to my channel. My name is Darian and welcome to my first vlog for June. So I decided to do weekly vlogs once again in the month of June and this time these vlogs will not be a month late, okay? I promise. <laughs> well, I can't promise anything, but I will try my best. But I wanted to vlog in June because I'm participating in two readathons. One of them is the Whatever a thon hosted by Maddie from Book Browsing Blog, and I am so excited about this readathon. This is such a fun and like original readathon. Basically, you could read as the name suggests, whatever you want, but there's different teams, there's a competition, and each team has a unique bingo board with different prompts to follow. I'm on team Shelf Slayers, which is the host are Becca, Cody, Roe, and Spoops. And the main reason I chose that team is because one of the prompts is to read a book with purple on the cover. <laughs> And purple's my favorite color, so it didn't take much for me to choose a team. But yeah, that's the team I am joining. <laughs> so I'm very excited about that. I am also participating in and co-hosting the Pride-a-thon. And this idea came from Christine from the Roomies Digest. And basically a bunch of queer booktubers and bookstagrammers got together and we made this bingo board. And by we, I mean mainly Christine, but we helped with the prompts, you know? And I'm gonna be trying to follow it throughout the month. But also, if you saw my June TBR, it did not go as planned. I mean, I got good books to read, thankfully, but not all of them are queer like I would have hoped. So we're gonna see how the month goes and you guys can follow along with my journey. But let's talk about what I am reading right now. So I am in the middle of reading Babel by R.F. Kuang. I got an arc of this book, which was very exciting because this is many people's most anticipated book of the year. Essentially, I don't know how to describe this book, but essentially it is Dark Academia and we're in the 18, I want to say 40s, but it might be 50s and it might be neither of those. I don't know, but we're in the 1800s and we're following this character named Robin. He is going to Oxford and he is studying in like the translation department and the building where the translation department is is called Babel and this is like an esteemed department at Oxford and everyone's kind of a little obsessed with it and like it's super hard to get into this program because it's translation it's a lot and there's only like four kids in Robin's cohort including him and that's really all I want to say I feel like it's good to go into this not knowing too much there's some secret things going on there's also like this kind of magic system but it's based it's more like how do I even explain it? I don't know. This book is very big brained. I started this book like two weeks ago and I'm only halfway through. And it's not that I'm not liking it because I really am liking it. I mean, R.F. Kuang is such a good writer and the stories that she creates, like it's not hard to get lost in it. But at the same time, I am like struggling <laughs> to get through this book a little bit because there's so many passages about translation itself and like talking about the origins of certain words and stuff like that. And like, while it's interesting, I, I also feel like I'm kind of reading a textbook at times so I, my brain is like it's got if it's not at full capacity which it's often not then I gotta really crank the gears you know to try to read this but the story is taking some interesting turns so I'm very excited to keep reading it I have no idea what prompts this could possibly count for I don't know if it could even count for anything for the Pride-a-thon because it's not explicitly queer but I think it is queer. <laughs> I think some characters might be a little queer and for whatever a thon I haven't even looked at the prompts too closely to see what this could count for so we're just gonna wing it. We're just gonna see how it goes but that is what I'm currently reading and then once I'm done that I'm still also in the middle of Dress Codes for Small Towns by Courtney Stevens. I get Courtney Stevens and Courtney Summers mixed up but this is Courtney Stevens and if you saw my book Oplathon vlog I did start that book in that vlog and I'm not done it yet obviously because I just said I'm in the middle of it. So once I am done Babel, I'm gonna get back to reading that book. So we're starting the month off with two books that are not even on my June TBR and that TBR is kind of big so <laughs> it's gonna be great. We'll see. We'll see how it all goes. I am just hoping for the best but I am so excited that it's Pride Month. I love Pride Month obviously and I am hoping to read as many queer books as possible. Also today, I should mention, today is June 2nd. I didn't intro the vlog yesterday because I, if you don't know, I just started a second job at, like literally this week. I started another job so I have two jobs now <laughs> and I haven't been stressed at all in case you were wondering. But yeah, it's been a week. Uh, I've been so just 
focused on this new job. It's basically all I've been thinking about because I have been so stressed about it. But it's going okay so far. But yesterday I did work and I just did not have the energy to do an intro for this vlog. So here I am now and I do work again tomorrow. And now that I have two jobs, we'll see if how that affects my reading. But we're gonna try our best. <laughs> So wish me luck with that, but I think that's everything I wanted to say. So welcome to the vlog. Happy Pride Month. Let me know if you're participating in any readathons. I would love to know. And yeah, I'm probably gonna go today. I have nothing to do and it is like 2.15 now. So I might honestly pick up Babel soon and maybe get try to get through a chunk of that. I don't know, we'll see. I don't even know. It's my day off, but I don't know. So I'm gonna go do something and I'll talk to you guys at some other point. <laughs> So it is Sunday now, so apologies for not updating for a few days. The past few days have just been kind of exhausting. I did work Friday and Saturday and I was so tired. I was planning on updating last night and I just wasn't happening. So I'm updating now, but as you saw, I was reading Babel last night <laughs> and something crazy happened. And since that thing happened, things have just, things have just, <laughs> escalated a lot. So basically I'm now 77% into the book and part of me kind of wants to try to finish it today because it's just crazy what's going on right now. Like where the book started is nowhere near where we are right now. <laughs> like I cannot believe 60% of this book or not even, like 70% of this book was like very slow, taking its time, telling the story. And then something big, pretty big happened a little while ago and I was like, oh damn, that's pretty big. But now, like I can't even explain. I can't, like I was in such shock reading what I read last night. <laughs> So I'm definitely wanting to finish this soon because I need to know what's gonna happen and I mean the thing that's happening now It just makes me like the book as a whole so much more even though I've been liking it the whole time But like it was pretty slow and like I mentioned I think the other day it is very big brained and sometimes my brain was just like what what? <laughs> what are you trying to tell me Rebecca? But now I'm like, okay, okay, I understand I understand. Reading this book so far, I've been thinking I'll probably give it a four star because like obviously I'm really liking it and I mean R.F. Kuang's writing is just next level but you know there were some parts that were a bit hard to get through but now I'm like maybe this might be five stars. This might be five stars. I don't know. So I'm gonna try to read. Um, today is Sunday like I mentioned and it is only about 1.30. I just filmed a video and that was really all that I wanted to get done today. I might spend most of the rest of the day reading. I also, I forgot to mention the other day that another book that I'm in the middle of is From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout and I've been listening to the audiobook because that was our Winer's book club pick for May and I'm still not done it. I think I'm the only, oh no Rachel I don't think has done it either but yeah I, uh, <laughs> spoiler alert, I really hate that book. I hate it so much. It is so not good. <laughs> it is so bad. Oh my god, it's so bad. The writing is just 
awful. It's so awful. And I can't even explain what this book is about because I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. There is the main girl, Poppy, and she is the maiden. What does the maiden do? Who knows? She can't show her face. That's all I really know. And things are happening and I just don't care. I don't like her. I, 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 uh, I hate Poppy so much because we're in like it's first person perspective and we're just in her head and she does not shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like she thinks about things for so long and I'm like just just stop stop end this chapter let's stop her right now oh my god she's so annoying and I don't like Hawk either who is like this other guard guy and the audiobook narrator gave him a British accent and the accent is so bad I don't know why she did that <laughs> but that was not a great decision but it's just I'm not enjoying it so I never want to listen to it but maybe I'll listen to that later I don't know because I really do need to finish it but I figured I would let you guys know that I'm reading that also but yeah Babel is just going it's going great right now well it's not going great but <laughs> I am really enjoying it even though I can't talk about it. Um, but yeah, so that's my reading update now. I have been like, I mean, like I mentioned, I am just so tired. I did start my second job this week, so I'm now working two jobs. And this first week of trying to balance both, like, it's not impossible. Like, I can do it, but this coming week is gonna be even busier because I work more shifts and I have a concert on Wednesday, which is very exciting, but it just means I'm gonna be very busy this week and I am just kind of dreading it. I'm not dreading the concert, I'm just dreading the week as a whole, and I'm just very tired. <laughs> And like I've been in a bit of a funk like every time I think about work I just want to cry and I have been crying a lot <laughs> had some breakdowns had some panic attacks it's been so fun so my mental health is not doing too great right now and I know I'm smiling right now but I'm not smiling on the inside um so I don't know I don't know why I brought that up but I just thought I would because I always seem to talk about my mental health in my vlogs so here we are but I have been struggling a bit this past week I mean the past few weeks honestly well the past like many years but <laughs> anyways but yeah if I ever seem low energy then that is why but I'm hoping I can just kind of get through these like I know the first few weeks of starting a new job is always gonna be hard so I'm hoping I can get through this week and it'll be okay I do work tomorrow and Tuesday at the new job and I'm just nervous I mean I'm still getting used to everything and obviously it's normal like you don't know everything when you first start but like I just get so embarrassed easily when I have to ask questions I don't know hopefully I get over that because I shouldn't be embarrassed. But anyways, that's just my little ramble for now, but I'm gonna probably go and keep reading Babel because <laughs> I might sit outside actually. It's pretty nice today and I'll try not to think about work tomorrow, but yeah, I'm gonna go and read more because what the heck is going on? So if I end up finishing it today, maybe I'll update again later and if not, maybe I won't. Who knows? Who knows at this point? I don't, that's for sure, but <laughs> I'll talk to you guys at some other point in time. Monday now and as you probably guessed from my last clip I did end up finishing Babel last night <laughs> 
I don't know how I'm gonna talk about this book. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the absolute breakdown I had when I finished this book. I, well, I mean, you saw my literal breakdown when I finished this book, but like, I feel like I haven't been able to think properly since finishing this book. Remember when I said that things started to get crazy? Well, they just kind of kept getting crazy and the ending, <laughs> The ending of this book was so, <laughs> like, so sad, but so powerful, and honestly one of the best endings I think I've ever read in a book, and I mean, the, the whole second half of this book made me like the book as a whole like 10 times more because I understand now why like the beginning was so slow and why we had to set up everything the way that everything was set up, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, like I mentioned, the beginning was very slow and I do like slow books, so that, that wasn't an issue for me, but I was having a bit of trouble getting into the story mostly because it just felt so like heavy and big brained for me. And then it just all came together <laughs> and Oh my god, I love this book so much. I think this is one of my new favorite books of all time. I think this is my favorite book of the year for sure. I ended up giving it five stars. I just am kind of obsessed now and I mean R.F. Kuang, like who's doing it like her? I don't know. Her writing is just out of this world. Like no one can touch her. No one can touch her. Sorry. Sorry to everyone else but no one can touch her and ugh. I don't know what I can say. Also like the characters in this, especially Robin, the main character, such an interesting and nuanced character and like do I agree with all his decisions? No, but do I understand where he's coming from? Absolutely. And there's one character and I can't really say who, but I wish them a very die. <laughs> I just want to set them down and punch him in the face, honestly. Like they... they will be hearing from me, honestly. Oh my god. <laughs> I just really really loved it and I'm so excited for it to come out and for everyone else to read it because I need to talk about this book with people. I have a feeling because I for sure liked this more than The Poppy War. I feel like that's gonna be an unpopular opinion like I know so many people are obsessed with The Poppy War and I've only read the first book so I'm only comparing it to the first book in the Poppy War series but I don't know. I mean I love Dark Academia as I am learning. It feels like every Dark Academia book I I read, I end up loving. I mean, The Secret History, obviously. I'm trying to remember another one. I feel like I read another one. Re oh, Catherine House, obviously. So I think that Dark Academia is like, I think I'm a Dark Academia girly. So anyways, loved Babel, loved it. 10 out of 10. So good, so good. Oh my God. <sighs> I just I'm so excited to get the physical copy when it comes out so I can reread it and tab it and highlight it and oh my god I'm so excited so yeah there's my review of Babel I don't know if any of that made sense I am exhausted I did work today and I'm so tired <laughs> I am so tired and I work again tomorrow and like the thought of working again tomorrow <laughs> oh my god like I came home from work today and I immediately just started crying like I just feel so overwhelmed and tired <laughs> but it's fine everything's fine so yeah so I finished Babel and then I also read a few chapters of Dress Codes for Small Towns last night and um, I think I mentioned this already but I'm already a bit through this book because I started it during the book Bookopolathon so I'm now on page 159 and I'm still really liking this book. I mean it was definitely hard to read something else right after finishing Babel because I was like you're not Babel. <laughs> What are you doing? So I'm trying to separate Babel from my mind while I read this, but this is very interesting so far. I can say that I've never read a book quite like this before because, I mean, I've read, you know, coming of age, contemporary stories, you know, about people trying to find themselves, but this book is pretty unique in that the main character, Billy, is in love with two of her friends. One of them is a guy named Woods and one of them is a girl named Janie Lee. And she's just kind of figuring herself out and she lives in this small town. She has a very like close-knit group of friends. Her family is very religious and you know, all these aspects play into her trying to figure out who she is and what she really wants with her life. And so it's definitely very interesting to read and I am really liking it. I mean, I'm not like obsessed with it, but I have been tabbing it. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, so I'm about halfway and I hopefully can read more of this tonight. I feel like I really should continue listening to From Blood and Ash. I just don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to read that book, but I should. Uh, 
so I don't know. Hopefully I'll at least get a little bit of reading done tonight, but yeah. So that's my update and I'll try to remember to update tomorrow because tomorrow will be the last day for this vlog because I started it on Wednesday, so I'll end it on Tuesday, you know? So there's my review of Babel. I hope you all go read it when it comes out and good luck. <laughs> that's all I have to say. Okay, see you guys soon. Okay, so it's Wednesday now. <laughs> um, I was way too tired after work yesterday to film an update, so I'm ending this vlog now and then I'm going to start next week's vlog right after I film this clip, but I haven't read too much since the last time I updated. I did get a bit further into dress codes for small towns. I don't remember how much further, but I still feel the same about it. I'm still really enjoying it. I mean, it's not like I doubt I'll give it five stars, but I'm still really liking it. So there's that. But I did manage to finish one book in this vlog, which was Babel, and I think that's a pretty good thing to finish because I loved it so much. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and the first week of Whatever-a-thon and Pride-a-thon. Pride-a-thon I'm not doing so hot because I haven't finished a queer book yet, although you can argue that Babel is queer, but anyways. But I am at least reading Dress Codes for Small Towns now. I haven't listen to any more from Blood and Ash. <laughs> I gotta finish that soon. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hopefully I'll get a bit more reading done next week and next week's vlog will start off with something very exciting because tonight I'm going to see Phoebe Bridgers and I am very excited. So that'll be in next week's vlog. So look forward to that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon with another video soon. Bye!